Well, now that I've moved my panel lengths around, changed the duration, moved the uh, soundtrack as I have needed, press undo on that. Uh, I also imported the crickets as we saw, but I used the sound envelope technique to lower the volume on it. And uh, finally, I imported a little additional dialogue for one scene, and I took some of the crying out of this soundtrack and cut and pasted it so that it could overlap a little bit. And now that I have all those elements in place, I'm going to play through and we'll see what it looks like. I'm sorry, sweetie. You can't go to Mars until you clean up that room. Oh, ho, ho, but Daddy, all the kids are going. <laughs> Gee, I didn't realize it was so important to you. So you mean I can go? Gee, thanks, Dad. You're the greatest. What in the world just happened here? Well, everything in the preview is looking exactly the way I want it, so now it's time for me to export this uh, to an actual movie. So to export, I'll go to File, and then Export. And then among these choices, right now I'm going to export to a movie. And you could choose your destination path, but you can also export it not only as a QuickTime movie, but as a Swift file. Or with JPEG and Targa, you can export them as a whole sequence of image files. But I'm going to be doing a QuickTime movie. If you click on the movie options, you can choose a whole bunch of different settings as far as compression and frame rates. Uh, these are all basically going to be up to your own discretion, but the options are here. I'm going to be using all of the defaults, so I'm going to press cancel. You can also choose the resolution of the video that you want to make and the range of the scenes. You could have the entire thing, only the scenes that you currently have selected, or even just the current panel. Once again, there's more information here on overlay, so I'm going to keep it really basic and just press export and let the movie render. That's going to take a little while, so we'll come back in just a bit. Okay, our export is now successfully completed, so I'm going to press OK, close that, and I'm going to go take a look and find that file. All right, my output file is exactly where it was supposed to be. And I'm just going to scrub through here a little bit to show you something. This was the panel that had a tilt on it. And as you can see from the line that represents the wall, that the panel is tilted. And when it renders, it comes out exactly the way that you want it to. For example, here's the later panel. This is untilted. But just for demonstration, I made sure to tilt this one. So we can see that when it comes out, it, the tilt is there, and that's the same way it works on a printout. So now I'm just going to uh, play this through, and we'll see if everything checks out. I'm sorry, sweetie. You can't go to Mars until you clean up that room. Oh, ho, ho, but Daddy, all the kids are going. <laughs> Gee, I didn't realize it was so important to you. So you mean I can go? Gee, thanks, Dad. You're the greatest. What in the world just happened here? So there it is. All the camera moves, all the dissolves worked out fine. And in fact, I should point out, since I output this at the full size, when I uh, enlarge it to full size, you can see that it's completely enormous. And the resolution still looks totally beautiful, because when I output it, I output it at the uh, full giant resolution. So if you need a smaller movie, uh, obviously you have that option too.